Hi, in this movie we're going to take a look at the toolbox and some of the transformation tools inside the toolbox. We're also going to take a look at how the transform manipulator can be restricted on two axes. So here's the toolbox in Maya and this is my select tool which is highlighted right now. Then I have my move tool right here, my rotate tool and my scale tool. They have some very unique hotkeys if you look at the keyboard in front of you. Q is select, W is move, E is rotate, and R is scale. If I go to my select tool, I can pretty much select my object, and that's always highlighted in Maya when you first open Maya. Here's my move tool, or W, and this is my move manipulator. If you can't see it and if your object is too big, simply hit plus or minus to take the size of the manipulator up or down. The axes are color coded. X, Y, Z is R, G, and B, or red, green, and blue. To move the object, simply select the axis and move. Select and move. And select and move. To select the object, to move the object on two on three axes, you can simply go to the center point over here and move them on all three axes. To make sure that the object only moves on two axes, you have to disable one of the axes. So if you look at the center over here, this little dotted square, if I hold on control and keep your eyes over here, if I hold on control and click on the Y axis, you can see that goes parallel to the ground now. So right now I can only move the object on the X and Z plane. And also if you look at the channel box over here, you can see as I'm moving the object, the Y axis is not changing. If you want to get all three axes back, simply hold on control and click over here again. The rotate tool is E, and again this is my rotate manipulator. So I can select and rotate, select and rotate, rotate from here all three axes if I go in the center and you can see it's changing in the channel box. The blue disk over here around the rotate manipulator will pretty much rotate the object from the line of sight from the camera which is us right now to the center of the object so more like a roll. Then you have your scale. You can scale the object non-uniformly and also if you go to the center you can scale the object uniformly and you can see it's also changing here 